Hello there, Leo, and welcome to your Oracle messages. Um, Leo, I just want to tell you guys to really stay hopeful, especially when it comes to your love life um, and also when it comes to your soul purpose. Um, some of you guys may be feeling um, stress or anxiety. Just don't, don't worry, okay? Um, if you guys find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out the past Oracle messages. Those are all timeless. Um, Leo, let's see what your oracle messages are. Yeah, there's something, um, okay, you guys are getting ready for something new that's a lot more balanced. Some of you guys are coming into a new um, soul contract, a soulmate situation um, that is definitely destined and meant for you. They could be a Libra. Um, they don't have to be. Some of you guys may have Libra um, in your chart. Uh, you don't have to, Leo. But a lot of you guys, by making the right choices in life, you guys are destined to have something very successful come together for you. Um, if there's any hesitation when it comes to stress, worry, or anxiety when it comes to um, <clears throat> making the right decisions, as long as you guys are doing things that are healthy and um, positive for yourself, you can't go wrong, okay? Um, and, a, and a lot of you guys have to know that you guys have favor in a situation when it comes to truth, um, when it comes to fairness, um, and also when it comes to uh, something that is very sacred and meant for you, okay? Especially when it comes to your love life. What else? Love yourself first. So your self-respect makes you guys more romantically attractive. Some of you guys had a situation that had happened here that may have um, got you guys questioning if you're lovable or not, and you guys are. Um, something was challenging for you. There may have been an ending for a lot of you guys, or there may be something that there's something hard to give up. Um, but you guys, the focus is on you right now and what serves you. Don't be afraid to be confident in your decisions on things that really are healthy and happy and positive for you. And by doing that, you guys are loving yourself first. So um, a lot of you guys just need to know, make room for love. And how you make room for love is loving yourself first, okay? Um, because some of you guys might not be taking time out to heal or replenish or to nurture and take care of yourself, okay? Oh, that one wants to come out. Pay attention to the red flags. Yep, finance, okay, so yeah, you guys, um, something with your um, career path is a focus. Um, maybe some of you guys, there may be something going on financially or there may be something in your career or your uh, soul purpose right now that is affecting your love life. But some of you guys with this justice card, <clears throat> I really get, see, you guys have to love yourself first by honoring the de good decisions that are healthy and happy for you. There may be um, a situation or people or something going on um, where you guys really need to use caution and discernment. Um, some of you guys are seeing signs about a specific person or a situation um, that spirit is trying to guide you away from um, and going towards something way better and healthier for you, okay? Uh, what else for Leo? Also, there may be something here tied in. Um, for some of you guys, <clears throat> make sure that you guys are creating a financial budget for some of you guys and, and pay attention to um, possibly to um, budget, um, financing, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe not overspending for some of you guys um, or saving uh, for some type of adventure. So dare to do things differently. So a lot of you guys, there. this may be a time to really get out of doing things the same old way or expecting the same old things or even expecting the same person. Be willing to go out and get out into nature or take an adventure or a journey here. Um, some of you guys are manifesting your travel dreams or be willing to be brave enough and confident enough to um, travel, okay? For some of you guys, you could be moving to a new location as well. Um, so there's definitely a whole new journey that is um, already um, starting to set sail here. Okay, um, and, and just be willing to stay optimistic, uh, do things differently. What else? I feel that there's going to be an opportunity here 
Um, and some of you guys, you may resist it and you may miss it because you may be stuck on doing things um, the same old way or you're not listening or paying attention to red flags. <clears throat> Because there is something about not being able to let go of something or someone for some of you guys. So uh, be kind to yourself and others and honor your gentleness and speak words of love. So some of you guys may be very, really frustrated at this time. So honor yourself. Um, take care of yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, a lot of you guys just need to have compassion for yourself and others at this time. Um, there may be something with healing and having um, a conversation. So... You might need to use, you know, uh, your, your own uh, power and really resist from being impulsive or reacting or overreacting, okay? Um, what else? And I feel that a lot of you guys, there's something about you guys um, retreating or taking out some time out to really love yourself that will give you guys a lot of um, a sense of confidence and calm and, and that you guys can bring forward um, gentleness. Because I'm actually getting Page of Cups energy coming through. Um, yeah, you guys are coming into a situation that is very gentle and new. This will be a new experience for a lot of you guys, okay? You guys are a goddess or a god, whatever you guys want to put it. Um, honor your divine feminine energy or even your masculine energy. Whatever you guys are feeling pulled to. A lot of you guys, it's the divine feminine energy right now because you guys are getting ready to really, you know, receive. So you guys are, are nurturing and loving yourself see your inner beauty see some of you guys yeah some of you guys you might have felt like some something um got you questioning your your beauty or got you know maybe some self-confidence issues whatever it is um know that you guys are definitely a sacred divine being you hold a lot of um, beautiful gifts and um, spiritual gifts i'm hearing some of you guys are mediums um and psychics um, so honor that and trust yourself, okay? Because you guys have got this like unicorn horn um, that is really um, transforming and getting stronger. So you guys are really picking up a lot of energies and you guys are also seeing truth in situations. You're really seeing deceptive energies as well. Some of you guys are seeing deception um, or you did see it. <clears throat> Love every part of yourself, okay? You guys are coming into a situation where there's um two of a kind here. So I just see a, a situation with a, something about a soulmate here, okay, for a lot of you guys. Let's see, what else for Leo? Okay, action. Now is the perfect time to act. So I'm picking up two of wands energy. Some of you guys have had an opportunity and, and maybe there's just fear about it or some of you guys just need to get ready for an opportunity coming towards your way, really getting Ace of Wands and Two of Wands energy, Fire Sign coming through, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Take inspired, okay? This is important. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Not forced, um, not a have to, not other people's opinions, not or, or even pleasing others. It has to be your own inspiration to really move towards your dreams. So move forward with confidence. And I think I was talking about you guys and having your confidence. Okay. You guys have um, the universe and the forces of nature that are favoring you at this time. What else? What are those lights called? Is it the Northern Lights or the Aurora Lights? Some of you guys might take a, a journey there or something I'm hearing for some of you guys or some type of sacred place for some of you guys. You guys are definitely coming out of darkness um, and light is being, um, there's something about your energy and transformation happening with you as well. Um, when I was talking about, wow, got received. When I was talking about this goddess energy, yeah, you guys are coming into this energy of, um, taking care of yourself and getting ready to receive here. Um, be open to receiving goodness. So this is why some of you guys, there was a situation that got you guys questioning something and, and something about you too. Believe you guys are worthy of abundance. Maybe there's something with a lack mentality here where we're not feeling like we're going to get what we want or um, maybe we're just, you know, negative thinking and we're not staying hopeful and optimistic about a situation. A gift is coming to you guys soon, so get ready to receive something. 
Um, it is something tangible and it is something that you guys are going to definitely want to take and hold. There's some type of passion as well coming towards a lot of you Leos um, and romance I'm hearing. Okay. What else? Also, there's something with money. Um, I'm getting six, six of pentacles energy coming through as well. It's like you guys are going to receive exactly what you need. But you guys have to also be willing to um, move forward <clears throat> with confidence um, and don't be afraid to share your light and, and stand out. Um, oh, look, and you guys are you guys are getting ready to receive true friendship and loyalty. You guys are going to receive your soul family as well, Leo. This is so beautiful. Um, seek out your soul family friendship. Yeah, you guys are. This is, this is the thing about this action you guys receiving here. So um, surround yourself with positive people and spend more time socializing. Some of you guys, you may need to um, retreat yourself from um, certain energies so that you guys are surrounded by um, positive energies. And then it moves you and it starts attracting the right um, situations, companionships, uh, friendships, um, social groups, okay? Uh, because I feel that there's uh, something that you're, you're being told to not mess with or go towards because it's only going to cause more havoc. Um, there's something about you guys making an honorable decision that's healthy for you and really moving forward with grace and confidence here um, and getting what you guys truly deserve. You truly deserve love, loyalty, a soul tribe, a soul family, companionship, um, truth, and honesty to where you guys aren't having to feel that you have to put your guard up or, or, or figure things out or, you know, some of you guys, um, don't ignore the, don't ignore the signs or those hunches that you're getting about a specific person or situation. What else? <clears throat> rebirth you guys there's judgment card coming through so you, you guys are definitely leaving the past situation and reconciling the past and really having amends there may be um forgiveness um oh not maybe there is definitely a sense of forgiveness and and a cleaning of something here a clean slate but there may be something with an apology for some of you guys too this is a time look um loving yourself first this is very interesting because i do see you guys um transforming yourself and being able to reinvent yourself the way that you want to not by what you think others want you to be or how you should be this is something that is like intuitively and instinct instinctive um, when it comes to your own transformation your own rebirth what else does it say give life to your dreams so you guys are getting ready to really um, set path on an adventure and a journey of really manifesting your true dreams your true desires okay you might feel like you've gone through a hard lesson here um, but things are lining up for you okay trust um, yeah look create a new reality so you guys are giving um, the go to really take action towards a new reality I'm just hearing so much to leave the past and let go of expectations or figuring out how um, or, or just trying to have control issues um, allow something to just manifest um, naturally here um, and organic what else <clears throat> Yeah, ground yourself. Go out into nature. I was really getting that, and where you, she's even out here too. Some of you guys may be in, have just a lot of under stress, or doing a lot of work, or labor, or just there's just something there. Um, find a sanctuary, find sanctuary in nature, and connect with the elementals and ground yourself, uh, because you guys are needing a time to really recharge and replenish yourself, especially after you guys gone through maybe a death and rebirth, or an ending here, or something that really caused major transformation or a new path um, that has to be um, blazed or you know you, you guys are gonna have to trailblaze this new path but don't be afraid of it um, you guys are gonna find um, <clears throat> you guys are gonna find um, information too from nature spirits because you guys are divinely connected a lot of you guys are high priestess um, high priest energy here so um, nature and elemental uh, and um, angelic spirits really do communicate to you I feel that you guys do see the signs, but um, there's something about you guys trusting uh, new signs and a new direction as well, okay? Take time out to really be out in nature or get some fresh air. Um, maybe disconnect from people or energies that could be very distracting, <clears throat> okay? What else? And 
connect, you know, the thing is, is you going towards and connecting towards things that are um, more balanced and in harmony with you because there was a situation that was out of balance before or is for some of you guys and you're having to really go through a, an ending or a change with it or having to decide that for some of you guys. Yeah, free yourself. I'm really getting um, devil energy coming through here. It's time to take back control of your life. Some of you guys, um, there may be a, an energy or people or um, a situation that you may feel powerless in. Um, you guys are stronger than you realize. Um, there may be something about just breaking free mentally here and, and just not letting fears or anxieties or worries or concerns take hold to where you guys can't move because you guys are very unique and there's something about where you're at right now that will not serve you because it's gonna keep you very, very small and you're this beautiful, unique um, unicorn energy and you're meant to really um, find your magic and find your life and really um, break free from, I feel that a lot of you guys too are destined, maybe some of you guys are already um, in this, but I feel a lot of you guys are destined or you've done this um, there's something with finances and really breaking like um, a pattern of um, scarcity and lack mentality when it comes to money and love, okay? Because there could have been something from growing up or the way that we viewed life um, that you guys are breaking free and from to like old habits and of ways of thinking as well, okay? What else for uh, Leo? <clears throat> Yeah, celebration, getting three of cups energy, you guys. There's something about, because um, there was something, oh yeah, the friendship. Spending more time socializing. So celebration, a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been doing something here. Something you guys have been working towards. Now, some of you guys just need to take a little time to really um, love yourself and honor your achievements here. But there is some type of um, energy of three of cups, like, socializing, um, family, you know, uh, friendship, maybe dating for some of you guys. Um, but I feel that you guys are going to really uh, find a, and feel a sense of achievement and others want to really appreciate and celebrate you too. Or there's just something, there could be something about um, just a social event as well or, or more than one. Um, and really just having that emotional connection with others that really feels fulfilling and free not restricted okay because some of you guys there's something about an energy too that i want to talk about with some of you leos um there could have been a, a situation where you know lust and obsession is not love and there's a confusion with that okay and there could have been this energy that's very toxic and controlling or you guys are intuitively feeling that or there's just something with that um so just you know really trust yourself because you guys are really meant to um, feel free, um, you, you know, ex and, and experience life um, uniquely um, and not tie down. Surrender to spirit. I do see you guys surrendering to spirit here. Um, once you guys have done everything you can to achieve your goal, just turn the situation over to the divine. Here you guys are receiving here. Let spirit work its magic for you. So I'm getting... Um, you know, will of fortune coming through here. Um, this is a thing. Here you go. Here you guys go with the justice card, right? Doing things and making this, doing everything you guys can and then just turning it over, right? Do what you can to achieve your goals and then surrendering to um, letting spirit work its magic for you. Okay. Surrender to spirit. What else? daughter of pentacles so yeah you guys you're going to come into um a new um <clears throat> new experiences when it comes to um physical sensations when it comes to creating abundance when it comes to learning and growing um make sure you guys aren't too hard on yourself either because i feel that you guys definitely are having a sense of rebirth and you're coming through this new phase and this new way of doing things and looking at life um and you know sometimes you guys kind of you know just like with any like new thing um, you know, we can 
we can fall down or make little mistakes here and there, but you guys are, are doing something steady and strong. Um, and you guys are getting ready to receive some type of good luck and good fortune here. I just really get that so much. Um, so yeah, you guys, there's some kind of new exploration or adventure journey, especially when it comes to um, really connecting to um, your physical senses um, and enjoying life's pleasures, okay? What else for uh, Leo? And look, we've got this deer too. Um, didn't we get, yeah, gentleness, something about being very gentle. So there's, um, there could be this um, new commitment here with someone um, that is very gentle, um, possibly sensitive. Some of you guys may be committing yourself to um, a new health routine, um, new uh, way of like doing and looking, um, you know, something about your guys' health um, and transformation. Yeah, so you guys know what's going on, Leo. There's something here. There's something that's unbalanced. Some of you guys, it could be that there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. So you gotta kind of be honest with yourself. Some of you guys, you might be, um, for some, it might be a situation where you put more love and effort into someone than you were even receiving and you might have just missed the, the signs or the guidance about this. So just pay attention because Spirit is saying there's something here that's not balanced. There is more give than there is, there's more taking than there is giving is what I'm getting. Um, and there's a situation too that for some of you guys, you know, it's just unbalanced for you anyways and not healthy, okay? Um, so um, be willing to just really see the truth in a situation. Here's what we got this justice card, okay? Um, some of you guys, it's like be willing to do the right thing even if it's the hard thing. And some of you guys have been and, and you know, letting go of situations and people that you know aren't serving you or your purpose, okay? What else? Yeah, you guys, it's time to uh, move your body and, and get action. So I feel that you guys are going to be, there's something about you guys socializing, going out, dancing, maybe um, there's going to be opportunities. Again, there's more about you guys um, really tapping into a whole new experience of really like, um, I don't know, new abundance really experiencing something with like maybe even higher quality foods, um, higher quality, whatever it is, um, and health dancing here. So move your body to music and dance with the rhythm of life. You guys are going to manifest your dreams through dance, partly because you guys are in a state of joy and partly because you're, you're really shaking off stagnant energy that some of you guys, you know, you guys are healers and empaths. And so you might be taking on other people's energies. So um, you know, some of you guys, you, you feel others energies as well. And so you, you know, it's time to kind of shake that off. Um, uh, but also because it puts you in the present moment and when you're in the present moment, magic happens, it really, really happens. Um, so maybe some of you guys take on the challenge of trying to be in the present moment as much as possible. Um, and maybe it is music is going to really help heal a lot of you guys, um, or just get you guys motivated. What else? Mm -hmm. Look, discernment. What did we say about this um, situation? Pay attention to the red flags. What does this say? All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. You guys already know something about a, a situation or a person. Keep your dreams a secret. Yeah, some of you guys, you do need to keep your dreams a secret. The reason why is I just feel that you guys have to trust your own path and what's right for you and what's being manifested and what's being shown to you by your spirit guides, by the angels, by the universe, by your higher self, whatever. Um, I feel that there could be an energy that wants to keep you guys tied up in a small little box. Uh, that's not very fulfilling. You can't really enjoy life right? How fulfilling is this? Be, be careful and be cautious of others control or maybe even people pleasing others as well. Okay. Use your discernment. You guys know the truth. What else? Yeah, growth. I was just, this is funny. I was actually kind of seeing this card in my mind's eye when I was talking about you guys 
um, you know, having like this new phase of life. And so be willing to kind of make mistakes, but be willing to know that you guys are just learning this whole new experience, this whole new way of being and thinking and feeling things. So <clears throat> seek out a mentor or a guide and take baby steps as you grow and be willing to learn from others. Okay, here we got the Daughter of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. This is all about learning and growing. Um, but there is something very um, solid and secure, too, with it. So don't worry. What else? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so... Um, I think I might have men mentioned this. I don't know, but I was there was something about you guys taking up a, oh yeah, action. Now is the perfect time to act. Look at this. We have Falcon. <clears throat> act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. So don't, this is the thing. You guys know what to do. Um, don't deny yourself and, and don't ignore the signs. You guys are hearing messages from spirit about a situation. Um, I feel that you guys see an opportunity or you guys feel an opportunity coming. You guys have to trust it, but you guys also have to act on it. And, and I just feel I was going to say, don't, you don't, you don't want to like miss that opportunity either, Leo. Okay. Support. Yeah, you guys are going to receive the support that you need. And remember what Spirit was saying, you guys. Um, where was it? I thought there was something about you guys. Oh, surrendering to Spirit. <clears throat> yeah, here you guys are, surrendering to Spirit. So the thing is, is yeah, do what you guys, act on what you guys can act. Do what you guys can do um, and what you guys know you guys have control over and then let it go. Um, you guys, some of you guys do need to get more rest and nurture yourself. You need to really pamper and take care of yourself. Some of you guys feel very exhausted, drained, and tired. Um, some of you guys, um, you might be so exhausted and drained and tired that it's hard for you to hear your own intuition and you could be just picking up on so many energies. So make sure you guys do take time to replenish, recharge, and protect your energy as well, okay? Um, if you guys need support, be willing to ask for it as well. Okay. You may need to say no to things. You, you also, I'm getting, you need to create strong boundaries as well. Yeah, you guys, you guys are going to get a soulmate <clears throat> and some of you guys have already met this person or you have an intuition about this person. Um, and so, yeah, this is your soulmate. You have a soulmate uh, situation coming, um, happening, growing, manifesting, receiving. You guys are getting ready to receive something here. Remember, there is a situation where some of you guys really need to leave a situation in order to get the best situation. Um, it's like let go of what's not working or let go of what feels like it's too much work for some of you guys. Okay. Uh, this is your soulmate. You guys are, are coming into a situation um, and a friendship and friends that are going to absolutely be your soulmate and soulmates, okay? Friendships and lovers, whatever, or a love. <laughs> no. Okay, that one, that one. We'll take that one. Imagination. Envision a new reality. See, you guys, um, there's something about you guys... Um, releasing the past or releasing um, someone, um, releasing uh, like trying to figure it out or, or wanting it to go a certain way. Give yourself permission to dream and believe in unlimited possibilities. See, there's something going on with some of you guys feeling a lack of and not being hopeful. Um, you know, there, you know, just stay hopeful in a situation, really getting star card energy. Um, and also you guys are manifesting your dreams. So be willing to let your dreams um, manifest because some of you guys, you know, this is about you guys really seeing something manifest so that you guys can really understand your true powers. Okay. So you guys can really understand and feel that connection that you have with the divine and the, and the creation of the universe. And you know, your part in your, your place. What else? Yeah, a lot of you guys are healers. Um, I thought I said that, but I don't know. Never mind. Um, I actually, yeah. 
I've had some recording issues, so I had to do your guys' reading a couple of times, actually. So um, you guys are, you got, yeah, you guys have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities and stay true to your path as a healer. This is why there's something about you guys paying attention to the red flags, making good decisions that you know are, um, you know, true to you. And if, when you guys do that, you will not go wrong and you will not be left alone either. Sometimes you do have to let go of the things that aren't you. It's like, okay, this is what I want to say, Leo. It's like you guys have to be willing to, in order to really know who and what you are and the power of who you are, you have to be willing to lose everything that you're not. Okay. You guys are powerful and you guys are owed truth, justice. You're owed a connection that is strong and stable for you. Um, and that's um, very um, mutual. There's mutual attraction. There's mutual honesty. There's clarity. Um, there's balance. What else? There's diplomacy. There's a situation here too where there's someone or a situation that was like can't work with them. Just can't work. They just can't. They don't. There's just no budging, moving, whatever. You guys are going to get to know someone here, so get ready to receive a, um, a love situation, a friendship, or a soul. It's, it's, it's exactly what you guys need. I'm just going to say that. Um, you guys are going to be having some very heart-to-heart -heart conversations. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you guys are going to have um, a connection. You guys are going to um, possibly have communication here. Um, there may be an invitation. I want to say, say yes to social event, events. Don't hide yourself. But make sure you guys are making, um, going towards things that are, you know, positive, right? It's positive people and situations, positive events. Um, and you guys um, definitely could meet your soulmate there. Some of you guys, I feel that you guys already know who or you have an, um, an inner knowing of this, like a new, uh, like a, it's a newer feeling. It's a new soulmate here, okay? But it's like you, the soul recognizes uh, this. It, it's, there's definitely a soul recognition. What else for Leo? Polarity. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at this. We even have polarity here on the justice card. There is a, a better situation. This soulmate's going to give you guys everything you need. This is a supportive situation. You guys are going to have a very balanced soulmate here. Um, I'm just getting that so much. Also, integrate your guys' shadow side. And, there can, and also, don't remember this. There can be no light without dark, right? We, you can't have... Um, and appreciate the good things and the light, good, you know, good quality things or even the light in life without having to sit with the darkness as well, okay, and understand the law of po polarity here. So a lot of you guys are really coming into a sense of enhanced abilities when it comes to your manifesting skills as well, um, understanding um, willpower, drive, creation. Uh, I don't know, I'm getting cancer energy coming through. So a lot of you guys, you're you're getting set to go into a whole new direction um, and get ready to achieve your dreams. I'm serious. Stay true to your path, you guys. You guys are healers and you're meant to do something powerful and you're also meant to have a love situation that is not gonna make you guys feel drained or that you guys are not getting what you deserve. What else? Mm. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Uh, I'm getting seven of wands energy. Some of you guys are going to have to really be on guard and not listen to others right now. This is, again, let's go back to justice here, Leo. This is about you guys making decision that's right for you to come into harmony with the things that are good for you, right? So don't allow others' judgments or disapproval. Some of you guys don't, um, you know, be aware of people pleasing and doing things out of trying to make others happy. That's only gonna make you unhappy. You have to make yourself happy right now. You, your priority right now, Leo, is you. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself, taking time out for yourself. Um, and preparing yourself for a soulmate here so that you guys can spend some time getting to know each other. Um, but some of you guys have to release something, okay? Um, there is a, definitely a freeing of yourself. What else for Leo? 
hold on you guys are probably gonna get married look the situation involves marriage now some of you guys okay some of you guys might be getting divorced but I am seeing something about a new commitment with this page of pentacles um, the soulmate and getting to know each other look you guys you're gonna have a second chance at love at happiness um, commitment um, definitely could really go into um, marriage here getting hair font energy too so not only are you guys healers a lot of you guys are uh, spiritual guides and teachers in some um, facet okay so um, you guys are really meant to have some type there, there's there's something of maturity here and um, loyalty you're ready for this okay hummingbird and miracles oh my goodness you guys a lot of you leos need to know as a healer you guys are a joy bringer and i'll, I'll go back to that healing thing because some of you guys you do pick up other people's energy so um sometimes yeah i just feel that you guys sometimes you feel so bad and you want to make others happy but you end up draining yourself so um, you got to get your mind correct about what is really healthy for you. Um, and don't be afraid of, you know, other people, uh, what their opinions or judgments are about you. If you have to say no or stand your ground, okay? You guys really do bless the world with positivity and love and whatever you guys are doing because you guys are doing something. Um, yeah, and energy short, uh, excuse me, energy soars on your shining wings. I'm getting something about you guys. Once you guys kind of take a step aside, replenish your energy, replenish your soul, there's something about like um, fast moving, fast moving energy um, and really getting like um, a lift here, okay? Um, and going into the right direction. It's like you're going to finally get, a, get these, the polarities lined up. You're going to love the shadow, the dark, and the light side, and you guys are just going to be able to really um, keep your uh, keep going in the right direction. Um, and I just feel that you guys are ready to uh, um, come into some type of um, achievement and success and being recognized for that. Um, spread the miracle of happiness and i do feel that you guys are spreading the miracle of happiness so some of you guys don't get too down on a situation and just remember you are a blessing um, and a miracle and a joy bringer to the world okay and you're meant to have joy and happiness as well what else for leo I was just looking at this discernment card and the owl came out here. Yeah, you guys look at this. Choose to know the truth because you can. There's something that you guys already know intuitively here. But again, some of you guys might be questioning it because there's just too many different energies going on. So you really need to take care of your energy. As a healer, you're going to have to really learn something about um, energy, uh, creating boundaries for your energy, also replenishing, recharging, um, and protecting your energy. Uh, because as a healer, you're picking up other people's energies as well. Um, and, um, you know, you don't want to be taken advantage of either. There's some, someone, there's some, some of you guys need to hear me. Someone is taking advantage of you, of you and your energy. I'm getting Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups energy coming through. So a lot of you guys definitely have that, um, that, um, compassion, loving, healing, spiritual side to you. And you've got a big heart. Um, and that doesn't mean you guys need to close your heart off because you guys are, th this is the thing, you guys are being told to move away from a situation so that you guys are aligned with a, a healthy, more balanced situation for yourself. And I feel that it might, for a lot of you guys, it's going to start off as a friendship with this uh, daughter of pentacles and this friendship card. Um, and it really leads into um, a long-term commitment here. Open your inner vision. And the thing is, Look, you guys, as a healer and this um, God, God energy, the divine, or whatever, divine um, energy within you, you guys really do see through deception. So the thing is, is a lot of you guys may be picking, up the, picking this up um, quicker and a lot more strong, and that's the thing. So you got to listen to that, okay? Um, you guys can see through deception. Some of you guys are getting answers or seeing something in your dream state. I just heard that. Let go of the past and make room for a better life, see? Let go of the past, make room for a better life, rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. You guys are meant to really see how strong and wise you are. A lot of you guys already feel as like an old soul. You have to trust that. What else?
Yeah, surrender the idea that you guys can fix someone. Again, there's something maybe about control or controlling issues or people pleasing. It's time for a relationship shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. So again, with the justice card here, look, yeah. Each person uh, must be accountable for his or her own healing. So you really need to just do things that are um, more honorable for you at this time. You, you just can't. I'm just getting so much. This is about Leo and not about others right now. I mean, obviously, you know, in some situations, yes, if you're like, you know, got kids and stuff. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying. Just make sure you guys are taking time out. Um, but don't try to control someone. And some of you guys have this idea with this. See, it's like you guys are giving more into an uh, someone than you're getting back. And it's just going to make you guys feel very tired and drained. And you're not going to see the magic of who you are um, if you stay in that energy. Okay. What else? Yeah, you guys are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. You guys are going to find the solutions. Here's here's Justice card. The the forces of nature are favoring you as well. And there really is a soulmate here. Look at the two cute foxes. It's like they found each other. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways, always listen to your instincts. You guys have to pay attention to your instincts over others' opinions and judgments right now. Uh, resources surround you. Be open. Look at this. Ooh, be open to romance. And resources surround you. So you guys are manifesting the money you need, uh, the whatever you guys need that's tangible and real um, that could um, prosper into growth and into action is, is definitely surrounding you. And I was getting that magician energy. So don't... Um, don't doubt your guys' abilities to really manifest and create your, your dreams and your visions, okay? What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping Leo? How is spirit helping Leo? Getting you guys to stir up your dreams and your imagination some more to um, getting into the idea of of um, balance and seeking um, a more um, balanced union and companionship and friendship with others. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. This is how spirit is helping you guys. This is very blunt. So you guys need to just let go of any anxiety, stress, and fears. Try to stay in the present moment. Um, and have fun with your life because you guys really are safe and protected. And if something didn't go right for you guys, it's because you are safe and protected and something and someone is way better for you. Allow them to come, okay? I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.